Ow. Wake the up. The Australia Oceania continent argument is a debate I have had with multiple people on all corners of the internet. I have spent days of my life convincing people that Oceania is not a continent, and of course, I won every single time. Yes, hold your applause because I know what I'm talking about, but it's still very frustrating to write essays every single time in comment sections. So I have just decided to set up this video laying out all of my arguments and clearing up a ton of misconceptions so that rather than writing essays in comment sections, I can at least refer people to this video. Finally, please understand that I am very passionate about this particular topic, so if I sound too overly defensive or aggressive, that's why. Alright, to start off, we are first going to have to define our terms. What is a continent? and what is a continental region. And please, if you like videos like this or just want to support my work, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely awesome. You can also ring the notification bell for even more awesomeness. So let's begin. The universal definition of a continent is a large mass of land separated from others. Now based on your politics or where you live, you might disagree with what actually can separate the landmass and make them a separate continent. Now, according to many YouTube comments and online threads I've been on, apparently in parts of South America, North and South America are considered one. In Russia as a Eurasian country, they consider Europe and Asia as one continent, which, you know, they technically aren't wrong but maybe I'll make another video discussing that. But it doesn't really matter what your definition of a continent is, Australia fits the universal definition of a continent, which is once again a large mass of land separate from others. Now then, what is a continental region? A continental region is the region around a particular continent. Yup, that's it. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, these definitions are one of the biggest reasons why we've been having these conversations. You see, continent and continental region are one of those words that are used interchangeably while actually meaning different things. A good example which I referenced in a previous video would be pedo- Fans of the playground. Yes, I'm going to call these guys fans of the playground from now on. Yeah, this is used as an all-encompassing word for all fans of the playground. However, it only refers to certain groups of said fans of the playground. A lot of people I've had debates with say that they were taught that Oceania was in fact a continent. But you must understand that teachers don't know everything and also use all-encompassing terms and simplified definitions to make understanding things a lot easier. That's why professional criminologists and psychologists still use the term fans of the playground to refer to people who are attracted to minors despite the fact that that's actually incorrect. The same thing applies to continent and continental regions. A continent is the landmass and the region is the area surrounding said landmass. But hey, if you still don't get it, I devised something called the continental test. It's an easy way for you to test if a particular landmass or region has a continent within it. So let's try this on my least favorite continent of them all, Africa. As you can see, there is absolutely no doubt that this is a continent. Well, how about now? The islands on the African continent have been removed, and as you can see, this is still undoubtedly a continent, with just this single landmass. But when we take out the landmass, of course, as you can see, this no longer fits any definition whatsoever of a continent. This test works for any other continent, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, Antarctica, and of course, Australia. You see, the people who say Oceania, not Australia, is the continent don't understand the implications of what exactly they are saying. Oceania is a group of lands scattered along the South Indo-Pacific. That's literally the definition of a region and not a continent. If you were to take out Australia, this is what is left of Oceania. If something like this can be considered a continent, what's next? Is the Caribbean now a continent? What's that? It's too small? Then what about Indonesia? Indonesia is just like Oceania in this case. It's a group of islands in a region and it's massive. It actually spans the same length as the continental United States. In fact, based on size, 
Indonesia is actually more qualified to be a continent than Oceania without Australia. So why isn't it? Well, the answer is simple. It doesn't pass the continental test. There is no large landmass in Indonesia. None of the islands in Indonesia is large enough to be called a continent, not even close. Oceania, on the other hand, has Australia, the continental landmass in Oceania. Without Australia, Oceania would just be a group of islands barely twice the size of Texas scattered in water. And that is not what a continent is. Australia, however, is what a continent is. Now, I would like to clear up some very common misconceptions and arguments used by a lot of people who say Oceania is a continent. Number one, a continent is not a group of countries. I hear people say stuff like, if Oceania was not a continent, then what continent is in South Country Hill a part of? And that's a really terrible argument. Because it treats a continent as a group of countries, it literally treats a continent as a region and not a landmass. A continent doesn't need to have countries in it. Antarctica has no countries in it, and it's still a continent. Another thing I wanted to mention though is the Australian continental plate. As you can see, this is not the Oceanian continental plate. It doesn't really match up with the countries in Oceania. It's just kind of doing its own thing. So yeah, you know, if Australia wasn't a continent, it wouldn't have its own continental plate. So yeah, this is another thing that affirms Australia's geographical reality as a continent. Fun fact, the Indian subcontinent also has its own continental plate. As you can see right here, it almost completely aligns with the geography of the Indian subcontinent, which is pretty cool because it means that if only India wasn't attached to the Asian continent, it would have been its own continent. So yeah, just wanted to add this little fun fact there which is also completely unrelated to this video, so let's move on. And that brings me to my second qualification, that quote unquote, every country is part of a continent, that's why it's ridiculous to say that places like Japan aren't part of the continent, but the continental region. But the answer to that is no. Actually no, not all countries and places are part of a continent. One of the most popular examples of such places is Hawaii. Politically, Hawaii is part of the United States, but it's not geographically or even regionally part of any continent. And yes, Japan is geographically not part of the Asian continent, but part of the continental region. I feel like I should elaborate on continent and continental regions again using, say, Guam. If you look up Guam on Google right now, they'll tell you its continent is Oceania. But as we discussed, Continent is used as an all-encompassing term to refer to both continents and their continental regions. This term is used even by professionals, and as we can see, Google. This is technically incorrect. The same thing happens when you Google, you know, fans of the playground. The definition you're given by Google is technically wrong. But even Google uses this wrong definition because this word has literally become a simplified all-encompassing word. Same with continent. To find the actual detailed meaning of these words, you actually have to enter some of the articles on the websites that Google presents to you. And even they might still use the simplified all-encompassing term. So I don't really blame people for not knowing some of this stuff. It seems that Google sometimes makes information harder to get rather than easier. The third argument I usually hear quite a lot is Australia is not a continent. By the way, I'm Australian. This literally doesn't matter. Living in Australia or New Zealand doesn't tell you the country is a continent. You get that information the same place that I do, from books and the internet. I can easily access Australian or New Zealand books online if I wanted. So living there doesn't change the reality of what your country is. The fourth argument I usually hear is Oceania is a continent. That's what I learned in school. So if this video teaches you anything at all, it should be that teachers don't always know what they're talking about. They get their information the exact same place you and I do, from books and the internet. And these books can use simplified or all-encompassing terms to describe more complicated things as well. As a Nigerian, if I started learning that my country was a continent in school, it wouldn't make it true, it would just make it a lie my teacher told me. Now. The final and by far the most egregious misconception, Australia is an island. Oh ho, 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 boy. These four words put together is an outrage to the human senses. Australia is not an island. 
The world's largest island is Greenland, sitting at a little over 800,000 square miles. But Australia, which sits at over 2.9 million square miles, is almost four times larger than Greenland. Australia is massive. In fact, it's getting close to the same size as Europe. But then, this brings me to another frequently asked question. What about New Zealand? It's pretty large. Why isn't it a continent if Australia is one? Well, New Zealand suffers from the same problem that Oceania without Australia suffers from. One, it's not a single island. It's a group of small islands in an area. Yes, small islands, because even if you combine the total land area of all of New Zealand's islands, it amounts to a little over 100,000 square miles, making Australia almost 30 times larger than New Zealand. But if you're a fan of maps, this might confuse you, as both Greenland and New Zealand look considerably larger on a map. This is because most of the map we use today are distorted. It's impossible to actually represent a sphere like the Earth on a flat surface, and the most popular map projection used today, the Mercator projection created by, well, Mercator, decided to do just that. But in order to do that, he had to make some adjustments to the size and shape of the lands depicted, making them more distorted the further away they were from the equator. But now, for the most important question of them all, why? Why is Oceania even a thing? Why is Australia the only continent to have a different name from its continental region? Because you must understand that every other continent is called the same thing as their continental region. The continent of Africa is part of the continental region of Africa, which is why an island like Madagascar can be accurately called an African country, and the British islands can be accurately called a part of Europe, and so on. So why is Australia's continental region called Oceania rather than Australia? And the answer, my friend, is simple. It's politics. You see, Australia is the only continent whose land is completely encompassed by a single country. A country that bears the same name as the continent, which means that countries like New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, and so on would end up becoming Australian countries. Also, the world's politics and trade is usually separated into continents and regions, like you have the African Union for the African continent, the European Union for the Europeans, and so on. So, Oceania was created as a region mostly encompassing what would have been Australia's continental region. So that makes Australia a continent inside the continental region of Australia, and its surrounding countries being part of the same continental region, Oceania. But of course, because continent and continental region are used interchangeably, people prefer to use Oceania in polls and, you know, on websites about continents or events talking about continents as using Australia rather than Oceania would exclude all of the other countries in the southern Indo-Pacific like, you know, Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Samoa, and so on. So that's it. I have made my point. But I still believe there's going to be people out there who don't agree with me. I'm just a funny talking stick man on YouTube after all. So I will do something that I really don't like doing, something that I feel like if you have to resort to to make an argument, you shouldn't even bother. But for those who still don't believe me, I will do it. I will appeal to authority. A quick Google search shows you that Oceania is a geographical region, not a continent, of which over 80% of its land area is held by Australia. This is the Wikipedia article for the Australian continent. I also despise Wikipedia as a source of information. People trust it as a source, so I unfortunately have to include it. Wikipedia, by the way, also describes Oceania as a region, not a continent. The National Geographic also classifies Australia as a continent and Oceania as a region. So do websites like World Geography, Explorers, and all these are available around the world in different languages. And as far as I can tell, the definition always remains the same, whether it's in Spain or Brazil or even China. But hey, if you don't trust these websites and their lizard slash alien CEOs, then perhaps you trust some of the biggest geographical channels on YouTube, like Wendover Productions and Real Life Law that always call Australia a continent and Oceania a region. All these sources are accurate. They all consider the definition of a continent and the definition of a continental region and make their decisions. They do not use continent as an all-encompassing term to refer to both the continent of Australia and the continental region of Oceania. 
And finally, something that should have put this argument to bed before it even begun. Saying that Australia is not a continent means that Australia is actually an island. A quick Google search will tell you that the world's largest island is Greenland, which Australia is almost four times larger than. And believe me, I've checked this in as many languages I could. There is no part of the world where Australia is regarded as the world's largest island. That means that it has to be a continent. Hell, it's even recognized as a continent by multiple UN treaties, some of which were submitted by Australia itself, meaning that the international community and the Australian government recognizes Australia's geographical reality as a continent. That means that all you folks that say stuff like, Australia is an island, I'm Australian by the way, or Oceania is a continent, I learned that in school in New Zealand, have only proved my point that your teachers really didn't know what they were teaching you, and your government have done a really poor job filling you in on the geographical reality of your country. Phew. That's it for this video guys. Once again, if I sounded defensive or aggressive in this video, it's because I'm very passionate about this subject. I have had many conversations with many people on it. So sorry if I may come across as unfriendly. Believe me, I am not. I am a very friendly guy. But if you did like this video and if it taught you something, you could leave a like. This video literally took me years to fully research. So a like and a subscribe would be awesome. Also share this video with anyone you know who still believes Oceania is a continent. I have added as many details and I have tried to make it as clear as possible to prove to anyone at all that Australia is a continent, not Oceania. It would help me a lot. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.